everyone and welcome to another speed build video on The Sims 4. My name is Simon and I'm so glad you can make it. Today I'm doing another challenge. It's called Pimp My Gazebo and it's by my Instagram pal Milo Farmer. Go to Milo's Instagram for the details of the challenge and also the background story. And while you're there, check out his other content. He's a very creative and thoughtful builder. So there's always like some background to what he's building and it's a very interesting feat. And for this challenge, um, the story is that a dog and his owner go to this gazebo every day. And while the dog has all the fun with playing with other dogs, its owner is very bored and has nothing to do in that gazebo. Now in this challenge, I'm supposed to, well, pimp that gazebo, obviously, and um, give the owner something to do while the dog is out, out playing with other dogs. So. And what I thought was, well, I wanted to make this a little bit more special than just uh, decorate the gazebo and call it a day. And then I changed its setting from like a park to the beach and I wanted to create a coral reef underneath the gazebo. Initially, I wanted it to be, to have like a glass floor so that you could actually see the coral reef and see the fishes that are swimming there. It didn't work out so well because as you can see I'm I have to, I'm building in the ocean and I have to use a foundation here. So normally if I wanted to build a bridge over water which is then on, on a normal lot would be a pool I would do that with a second floor. So the first floor I would bury underneath the ground with a terrain tool and then I would put the second floor on it and have that second floor go over the water. On an ocean lot, you don't have the possibility to do that because you do not have access to the terrain tool. And hence, I had to use a foundation and luckily there are these debug foundations that are practically invisible, but they do create like a, a hole in the ground. Here I could use that because I wanted to cover the ground anyway with the coral reef, so um, that wasn't a big problem. But something that I didn't know I would encounter counter was that when I placed the skylight, the one that comes with, um, trop, what is it, island living, um, and I placed that on the ground, it would, I would be able to look through the floor, but it would also create like a box around the skylight when you look at it from the side. So when I wanted to look in into the coral reef from the ocean side, then I would see that brown box that would would be around the skylight. And this was a big problem and then I couldn't really execute the vision that I intended, but I'm really happy with the end result nonetheless. Here I tried out all the different bubble effect pool decor that came with a get together and I always thought they were different effects, like at least a little bit different, bigger bubbles, smaller bubbles, whatever. They're not, they're all the same. And they're, I really don't understand why there are so many different versions of this in the game when they all have the same effect. I guess one is a drain for a pool and the other one plain stones for like a natural pool or whatever. But there is so many more, there are like five or six of these. You saw them, saw me line them up at the edge of the reef there. Why are there so many? Anyway, decorating the reef was, was pretty nice. I, I really loved that. I never used all these plants and corals and uh, leaves and all of that. I, I didn't use any of that before. So uh, I really enjoyed that. And later on, I even added life fish. <laughs> I used those sea roses that came with Snowy Escape for the koi pond. So technically they're koi and I don't know, koi are probably not living in, at this beach here. But fish are fish, I thought, and they add a little bit of life down there. And I didn't find the Sulani fish anywhere in the debug catalog, so it was the koi or nothing. Um, I built these um, wave breakers out of lava stones. And I had to change the design a little bit later on uh, when I was playtesting it because the uh, these big clusters um, that are alongside the the foundation or the gazebo wall um, they are not the systems can't walk through them so they were obstructing everything and nothing was functional and I wanted this gazebo to be functional so that uh, people could actually play with it so um, I changed them out for the slabs. Uh, the slab version of the um, uh, lava stones that I'm also using to uh, build the well ceiling of the uh, coral reef or like the top side of it and um, yeah and I use tool to build to turn them around and create a, a wall from them so that the back side of 
the coral reef that is underneath the gazebo um, would also be covered in in stones yeah and uh, i mimic the the vegetation of what's that island called again oh sulani the the island living world i mimic that um so that the lot matches its environment and i believe you have to place it on this specific lot because all ocean lots are different and it's built specifically for this one so i think if you put it on another one it would look a little bit funny and not like I wanted it to look where <laughs> it's looking here in this video so um, yeah I, I'll find out what that lot that I'm building it on is called and put that in the description below so that you know where to put it on the inside I build a custom sitting area uh, for which I used uh, the um, this kind of bench Thing that came with um, patio living no it's not patio living what's it called the, the patio one patio stuff pack and for the headboard I turned turned around um, these cushions from city living with tool and uh, it, it turned out to uh, to be a very seamless look and I love that a lot it doesn't always work that well but here it did and you've probably seen a lot of people do these custom furnitures by intersecting multiple sofas and chairs and whatnot and usually if you leave it like that they are glitchy as hell so when you play um, the game or even if you just move the camera around in build mode it's like really glitchy because obviously the bo both objects are on the same height and they are practically fighting for attention like <laughs> they're there uh, and that's the glitchy part that you see and uh, who's on top and uh, it, in order to avoid that there's a, a little trick um, that you could do uh, that involves tool and you take one of the objects that is intersecting and size it down by a very very tiny amount so you use a value like 0 0.999 and this should really do the trick that um, they are no longer fighting for attention so to speak so they are um, one is a little bit lower than the other and therefore there's no visual glitch that you could uh, see in the intersection of those objects. So that's a little trick you might want to use in the future if you didn't know that already So for the roof I was a little bit limited because for whatever reason maybe it's because it's the ocean or something but I couldn't pull the uh, roof over over to the left side of the gazebo so there was like something it said I don't know must be built on even terrain or something um, and I couldn't actually make the uh, roof the same size as the gazebo so um, that is why I chose this design um, but I'm not mad about it I think it's very interesting it does have like a little um, well I want to say uh, Arabian like Middle Eastern kind of look to it um, I don't know if it's like appropriate for the setting of Sulani but um, I liked how it looked and I didn't have many options so <laughs> I left it that way and I'm, I'm really happy with how it looks so I made it a little bit more interesting by adding some plants uh, on the on the rooftop and uh, yeah I think it's it's uh, it's working yeah <laughs> part of the challenge was to include activities for sims to do in this gazebo and I included a lot or let's say a couple <laughs> so uh, there is the sims can meditate outside on the wave breaker on the lava stone and this is really functional you will see that in the cinematic shots later um, that um, sims can actually walk through those slabs and um, well meditate on that board and I also include a chessboard and an easel and there's a dock training course outside and obviously you can swim in the ocean or chill on a floaty so that's what i would be doing if i was in this gazebo so i don't think the owner of the dog will be bored any longer when i was um placing the the chessboard uh, in this ocean setting i was uh, immediately reminded of a madonna video the power of goodbye one and um, as you will see later in the cinematic shots that i you know, paid a tiny little homage to it by focusing a little on the on the chessboard in those shots. And um, I know that um, Milo is a big fan, Madonna fan, so he'll appreciate um, my recreating <laughs> of this 
very intense and sexually charged game of chess that Madonna is playing with the, the star of ER. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, decorating this uh, tropical build um, was was really really fun, and I, I think um, this made me hungry for more. So you can expect some more tropical builds in the in the near future. And I I would really love to do another community lot, maybe like a bar or something. But I don't, I don't know yet, and and like a like a residential lot as well. So that's something to look forward to. And here you see me um, he actually place the, the koi fish and you see they immediately spawn when you go into live mode and you can even move them up and down with tool which is pretty cool so if you want them at the bottom of the ocean you can do that by just lowering them a bit. Okay, so um, I too have a challenge going on at the moment I'm hosting this um, challenge called Bay Window 2K on Instagram. So go check that out on my Instagram, Tavisimo underscore builds. The challenge is still open until May 2nd. So that's still a little bit of time for you to do. And it's only a room challenge, so you should get that done in that time. And I would love to see your entry. Okay, so here I'm switching out those lava stones uh, because I realized in playtesting that they weren't functional. They were blocking away. And this means that we're at the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video and this build, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below telling me what you think of it. The challenge is still open until May 16th, so there's still some time for you to join. For the details, go to Milo Famel's Instagram or search the hashtag PimpMyGazebo. Also, go to my Instagram, which is Tefisimo underscore builds for additional content. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!